the IBM Quantum Heron processor, IBM Quantum System 2, and the GA of Watson X dot governance, all on this episode of IBM Tech Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back to bring you the latest and greatest news and announcements about IBM technology. Last week at the annual IBM Quantum Summit in New York, we debuted IBM Quantum Heron, the first in a new series of utility-scale quantum processors. IBM Quantum Heron features an architecture engineered over the past four years to deliver IBM's highest performance metrics and lowest error rates. As demonstrated earlier this year in a 127-qubit IBM Quantum Eagle processor, IBM Quantum Systems can now serve as a scientific tool to explore utility-scale classes of problems in chemistry, physics, and materials beyond brute force classical simulation of quantum mechanics. Since that demonstration, leading researchers, scientists, and engineers have expanded demonstrations of utility-scale quantum computing to confirm its value in exploring uncharted computational territory. At 133 qubits, IBM Quantum Heron is the first in IBM's new class of performant processors with significantly improved error rates, offering a five times improvement over the previous best records set by IBM Eagle. To learn all about IBM Quantum Heron, check out the link in the description of this video. At the same Quantum Summit, we also unveiled IBM Quantum System 2, the company's first modular quantum computer and the cornerstone of our quantum-centric supercomputing architecture. It combines scalable cryogenic infrastructure and classical runtime servers with modular qubit control electronics, and it features three IBM Quantum Heron processors. This architecture combines quantum communication and computation, assisted by classical computing resources, and leverages a middleware layer to appropriately integrate quantum and classical workflows. As part of the newly expanded 10-year IBM Quantum Development Roadmap, IBM plans for this system to also house our future generations of quantum processors. To learn more about IBM Quantum System 2, hit the link below. To finish things off today, we're excited to announce the general availability of Watson X dot governance. Before AI can help your business reach new levels of productivity, you need to be able to trust what it's doing. Luckily, Watson X dot governance is designed to be a one-stop shop for businesses navigating how to deploy and manage both LLM and ML models. It provides tools to help you mitigate risks and accelerate responsible, transparent, and explainable generative AI and ML workflows. Watson X dot governance can help you operationalize AI with confidence in three main ways. First is compliance, where you can manage AI to address internal policies and industry standards and help prepare for upcoming regulations and policies worldwide. Second is risk management, where you can proactively detect and mitigate risks while monitoring for fairness, bias, drift, and new LLM metrics. And third is lifecycle governance, where you can manage, monitor, and govern AI models from IBM, open source communities, and other model providers. To learn more and get started with WatsonX.governance, hit the link below. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Tech Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in tech now.